Hello, I'm Linda Schaefer from Perfect Floral Solutions and we are launching a new product called the Quick and Easy Bouquet Kit. Today I'd like to share some of its features with you and demonstrate how to use it. The kit comes with a table clamp and holder that you place on your work table like this. And then you simply tighten the thumb knob. Okay. The kit also comes with a dome-shaped hand-tied bouquet form. This is our six-inch form. We also sell a four-and-a-half-inch form. Since these are consumable, they're sold separately. On the back side of the form is a small stem that you insert into the tube of the holder like this. Depending on the type of chair you're using or the table height, you may want to adjust where your form sits. To do this, you will loosen these nuts and slide it to your desired height and then tighten the nuts. You can do this either by tightening with your hand or you can tighten it with a wrench. Like that. You can also adjust where the form sits in front of you. It can be closer to the table or closer to your chair. And again, you'll loosen this nut to do it and then tighten it when you get it to your desired location by tightening this nut. This holder arrangement allows you to use a variety of foam-based bouquet holders like this one. I'll demonstrate more of these later. Okay, let's grab some flowers and get started. I like to begin with my support flowers, which is typically the roses. So I'll put the stems down through this form like this. You don't have to worry about the length of the stems. That's one of the nice things about having this holder out in front of me, suspended away from the table. You can keep your stems at all different lengths until the bouquet is completed. You don't have to worry about not having enough holes. There's plenty holes. I usually leave about two holes in between each rose just so that I can put my filler flowers in later or my accent flowers. Each of these holes are, are large enough that you could even put two stems in them. If you happen to run across a ridiculously large stem, which occasionally you will, don't hesitate to cut the webbing between two holes with wire clippers to make the hole large enough for that bigger stem. Even at 11 to 12 inches, which is what this, the diameter is gonna be when this bouquet is completed, you will still have a lot of unused holes. So don't be too concerned. You can see how nice it is that I can place these flowers in by holding even the heads of the flowers as I put them in the holes. Another great benefit of having this holder is when you put a flower in, You can grab the stem underneath like this and arrange and orient the flower to exactly where you want it in the bouquet. This size bouquet, usually with some accent flowers, takes around, I'd say about 31 roses. You can do less, you just, separate your roses out. If they're more open, you'll use less roses. If they're closed, you'll use more. You can always adjust that by separating out those flowers and using other filler to make the cost of your bouquet a little less. 
Now that I have all my red roses in, I'm gonna go ahead and start placing some of my accent flowers. I'm gonna put a Gerber daisy in. Again, there's plenty of holes. And you can use the top of the, the heads to kind of put them in place. One of the great benefits of having this form and using two hands is that you have the ability to to do that, to, to rearrange. And if you if you don't like where you put a flower, like I don't, I'm not sure I like that. I can take it right back out without changing the shape of my bouquet and go in somewhere else. I'll come a little lower maybe over here. Yeah, I think I'll like it in there. Okay. And put my hydrangea in. Again, one of the benefits of having this suspended out in front of you like this is that you can reach underneath and grab a stem and orient it where you want that flower to be in the bouquet. Don't hesitate to twist and turn to get the flower where you want it to be. This form is such a cost-saving device. It allows the flowers, the full flower to be seen and separated, which isn't the case when you're doing a handheld bouquet in your hand. The flowers all smash together and it, it, you'll use more flowers to create the same size bouquet as you will doing it on the form. And the form allows the, all the flowers to be separated and, and fill a much larger space. I have a small hand, and I'll tell you what, um, I don't know about you, but it was so hard for me to handle 50 to 60 stems in my hand while doing those handheld bouquets. And every time I'd try to take a flower out and put another one in, everything would shift and I'd lose my shape, which isn't the case here. I, I can get up if a customer walks in, assist them, and answer the phone or if I have to use the restroom. I don't have to worry about walking in there with a bouquet and trying to figure out what I'm gonna do. Okay, now that we have just about all our flowers in, except for this Elstromeria, I wanted to show you when the Elstromeria has a lot of flowers at the top, I like to cluster it together with floral tape so that when you're pulling it down into this form, it will, the flowers will be at the same height as the other flowers in the bouquet. Let's pull that down in. Okay. And then the kit comes with these stem clips. And these are great to go around crystals and also other smaller stemmed items so that the clip will straddle the hole in the form and you can adjust the height of the crystal so that it is at your desired height in the bouquet. So the clip allows you to do that. So you can see I can have this crystal up pretty high in the bouquet if I wanted it. But I'm gonna go in just a little bit further. Okay, I'm gonna put three crystals in. Okay. I'm gonna get this third one over here. Okay, we're going to take a break and adjust the angle of our camera so that we can come back and I'll show you how to wrap the stems on the bouquet. Okay, now that the bouquet is completed, we're going to band the stems. In the kit will come a few of these stem ties. You're going to want to use the stem tie and come around the stems like this. And I'm going to get it somewhat snug, but not too snug because I want to allow myself a little room to do some adjustments if I need to. But you'll notice as I'm tightening it, this form helps create a natural ball shape so the flowers are, are, are uh, 
um, creating a, a nice shape. Once I put this in, I'm gonna look around and everything looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy and don't need to adjust maybe this flower over here a little bit. Okay, so I'll go ahead and tighten it a little more. And I'm gonna put a second stem tie on. About here. And I'll go ahead and tighten this since I like the I like where my flowers are at. I like the height, I like the shape I'm getting. So I'll go ahead and do both of these just a little tighter. All right, and then I'm gonna cut my stems to length. All right, about in there is pretty good. Now that the stems are cut to length, we're going to cut the stem ties. And then I'm going to put a satin wrap on. I'm going to use um, pearl pins to keep my satin in place. You can glue it if you want to, um, and then use the pearls just as an adornment. It's great that I can use two hands to put the satin ribbon ribbon on. I remember always asking somebody to hold it while I put the ribbon on. It's great that this holder allows you to do this yourself. Okay. Now that the satin ribbon is on, I will simply go ahead and lift the bouquet out of the holder. And again, the form is just of the top. So what you're gonna do is place your hand on it like this, hold the holder with the other hand and lift up and you'll twist a little as you're lifting up. You wanna twist, see it coming off? Okay. All right, the bouquet is off the holder and you'll see that the form is now a permanent part of the bouquet. And then all we do is we'll stick it in a vase of water to keep the stems fresh. I wanted to show you, besides our quick and easy form that comes with the kit, the table clamp and holder works with a variety of foam-based bouquet holders such as these. This handle is hollow at the bottom and you can just place it over the tube like this. This form also is hollow, but you'll notice that the head is on an angle. The kit also comes with an adapter that you place over the tube like this and you can tighten the screw on the back to keep it from rotating. The adapter works with bouquet holders such as this one that doesn't have a hollow handle. You just place it in the adapter like this. It works well with the European bouquet holders such as this. Here's the square European holder. And lastly, the traditional cascade holder that has a flat handle works really well on this adapter. As I mentioned earlier, the quick and easy bouquet form more than pays for itself because you use a lot less flowers to create the bouquet than you would without the form. Another great feature, probably its best feature, is that it's very simple to use and requires very little training, which means you don't have to do all the bouquets yourself. You can simply manage others, therefore you can take on more orders and make more money. 
I appreciate you spending time with us today. If you would like more information about our quick and easy bouquet kit or any of our other products, please visit our website at www.perfectfloralsolutions.com.